And with this year's COVID vaccine available starting this week and with flu shots out there, you might be asking yourself some questions at this point, such as do I need them or can I get both at the same time? And what about those other vaccines? Perhaps maybe you don't really know what they're for. John Shumway is here with some advice that you might want to consider. You know, the vaccines have become very controversial, but if you've gotten past that and you've decided you want them, no one wants to be a pincushion. But the doctors say doubling up on your prevention might reduce a problem later. The COVID vaccine now being offered is formulated for the strains of the disease currently going around. The vaccine that came out is very effective against them, more effective than the vaccine that we had last year. And the flu vaccine is likewise formulated for this year's strain. But keep this in mind about both shots. It's not about protecting you from actually catching the virus because the virus is so well spread. It's about making sure that you don't get sick. It's protection, not an absolute shield. Last year, there was also a big push for the RSV vaccine for those over 60. It is not a yearly shot. So if you've already had it, you're considered protected right now. So what about getting both the COVID vaccine and the flu shot at the same time? It's better to get both shots than to miss one of them because you want to space them out. But if you do get them both at one time, Dr. Lamb says you might want to have some Tylenol handy that evening. I do warn people that it may cause you to have a little bit more of a vaccine reaction, which is your fever, your chills, your arm will hurt a little bit more. Another thing you might consider is getting one shot in one arm and one shot in the other. And it's okay to do it that way as well, so that you don't have one arm which is completely out of service for a day or so. Now, you also may have heard that there are two different flu shots, the standard and the high dose. You don't have to decide. The high dose is for folks over 65, and whoever is giving you the shot should give you the shot based on your age. And Dr. Lamb says getting both shots at the same time, yeah, they'll increase your chance of not feeling well, but it's only for 12 to 24 hours. And if you're getting vaccines from someone other than your doctor, it's advisable to ask your doctor first exactly what you really need guys.